go. That's it for this week's Teen Quranic Studies class. Next week, we'll be discussing Prophet Yusuf, peace be upon him, a guy so handsome girls couldn't stay away. Who can tell me what chapter that is? Leila? Which chapter? Ah, maybe the answer's on the note you just passed your friend. Uh, that's not my note. Who can tell me which chapter deals with lying? <laughs> okay, jail's out. See you next week. Oh. Hey, no stampeding, you Muslims, not kids. Okay. Afternoon, Amar. What you got there? Oh, uh, you know, just notes being passed in class. <laughs> a is so totally hot and smart and sweet, I can't stop thinking about A. This is terrible. What's terrible? Don't you see? I'm A. Ugh. You're a what? Sheesh! Way to leave a guy hanging! of having roads if they're always blocked by construction. Would someone turn Fred off? I'm not on the radio, Toots. I know, could you turn yourself off? <laughs> Typical government employee, yeah? People like you are the reason this country's going to the dogs. You should stop complaining and be more grateful. Sweetheart, the entire point of being Canadian is complaining about the government. That's what made this country great. I thought you just said it was going to the dogs. Two separate conversations. You have no idea how lucky you are. If I were a citizen of this country... Hold the phone, sister. You're not a citizen? No. Well, then you got no say. Now, become a citizen, then tell me how much I gotta love my country. Hey, Fred, that's not very nice. Then start paying taxes, toots. Then we'll talk. But I do pay taxes. Really? Seems like a rip-off. I need some advice. Do you have an appointment? No, this is an emergency. I'm having 14-year-old girl problems, and I figure you were one, so you'd understand. Well, Amar, when you become a young woman, you begin to notice certain changes. No, not those kind of problems. <laughs> Layla has a crush on me. Is this your idea of a joke? Because it's not funny. OK, how's this? Knock, knock. Who's there? Layla has a crush on me. Read this. Should I tell Bobber? Yeah, tell Bobber. Layla will spend the rest of her life in a borka. Well, at least she chose a worthy target for her misguided crush. You do know the teenage brain isn't fully developed, right? That's right, Bronchaholics. Seminal heavy metal supergroup, the Pain Elevators, are back with a reunion tour, and I just happen to have two tickets to give away. All you gotta do is call in and answer three very simple questions. Now, here they are with their 1979 hit, Lady Lightning. <laughs> Fred, this will be the biggest contest we've ever had. No one will get my questions in a million years. Okay, also one of the longest. <laughs> Come this afternoon, uh, these little babies will go on one and fall to yours truly. That's not the way it works, Fred. You see, the record labels... You can have the second ticket. Time to elevate some pain! What's wrong with you? So, why aren't you a citizen? It's all right. I am proud of my landed immigrant status. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather be a citizen? Why? I landed, I am an immigrant. The title is accurate. Yeah, but all you have to do now is take a test. I mean, don't you want to join our, our social fabric, our, our cultural mosaic? I mean, Canada is a, a rich mosaic of fabric. I don't know. You get to vote. Eh. You get to do jury duty. Jury duty? Yeah, the government randomly makes you judge criminals and send them to jail. You've captured my interest. Washing the truck? Thinking about it. 
No. Hey, did you hear Fred's show? Who's he trusting today? Let me guess. Muslims. No, no, no. He's, he's running a trivia contest for pain elevator tickets. I love that band. Didn't the leasing a die? Urban myth, you can't die from fizzy candy. I might take a shot of those tickets myself. You like the pain elevators? Why not? Because I'm Muslim? You don't seem like a rocker. Ooh, said the man that just hosted the three-day bake sale -a -thon. It was pretty hardcore. Anyway, I wouldn't count on winning those tickets because I happen to have every Time Life record collection ever offered. Well, I happen to know a thing or two myself. You didn't even know the lead singer is still alive. Details. Okay, let's go, study buddy. Well, if I can get Rianne to med school, I can get you a passport. First question. What kind of snacks should we have? What are the choices? We were right to go with a little of everything. <laughs> Why choose? Yeah. Oh, what are you two lovely ladies up to today? Studying for my citizenship test. I got out this map to help Fatima study and realized you could play Candyland on it. <laughs> Sarah is helping you study. Mm -hmm. She makes learning seem easy. <laughs> I can imagine. Darling, mm -hmm. can I have a word with you for a moment? Not sure. What are you doing? Teaching her to become a citizen. Of Candyland? A flower, you're a great friend, but as a study buddy, you're a train wreck. That's not true. Remember how I used to help Rayanne with those flashcards in med school? That was kindergarten. But she passed. Barely. It, it's not your fault. You're just one of those people that thinks learning is fun. Well, learning is fun. I bet Fatima doesn't know any more about Canada than she did when you started. Sarah, we still need to braid each other's hair. Perhaps even less. Well, what's the worst thing they could do? Deport her? Oh, my God. Will they deport her? No. If you want to help, you have to be slightly less fun. No more Candyland. Well, what about Trivial Pursuit? That's Canadian. No board games. Sorry. <gasps> Can we play Sorry? No. 